Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, Dimensions of Light. Go ahead and praise the Lord. We welcome you to the Dimensions of Light way of the cross church worship experience. Hallelujah. Welcome back to all of you who are tuning in virtually. We are happy to have you with us this Sunday morning. And to all of our saints, hallelujah, who have assembled themselves here in the house of the Lord, we welcome you as well. Truly, it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And that's not a cliche, though we hear it repeated so many Sundays after Sunday. But life in and of itself is a miracle. Hallelujah. You are a miracle. The breath in your body is a miracle. Hallelujah. This experience we're having is a miracle hallelujah it is not ordinary but it is ordained by our sovereign most high and holy god so with that in our minds and that at the attention of our focus let us rest on our feet hallelujah for all of you who are able and you who are at home get yourself in a nice comfortable position preferably out of your bed hallelujah and let us go boldly before the throne of grace. And let us talk to our Father this Sunday morning. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We come into your gates with praise and thanksgiving, oh God. Hallelujah. We come to you this Sunday morning just saying thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Even if we're not feeling grateful or distracted in our minds we just take a moment to quiet ourselves and quiet our minds quiet our souls and we begin to just say thank you hallelujah thank you for life oh god hallelujah thank you for sanity in our minds lord even when it's difficult thank you for strength in our bodies oh god we have assembled ourselves here, God, not under our own doing, but because literally, God, you have given us the strength, hallelujah, and the perseverance and the endurance to get here this Sunday morning. So, Father, we come as humbly as we know how, and we begin to just say thank you, hallelujah. Lord, we fix our mind on the glorious gospel and the testimony, God, that brings us here, that unifies us as one body, hallelujah that makes us one spirit hallelujah that gives us the one mind that is focused on you christ jesus that the bible says that you yeshua are the visible image of the invisible god hallelujah you are the express image of god as a person god and we ask holy spirit that you begin to move on us oh god and to deal with the interference god hallelujah the bible says every high and every lofty thought that exalts itself against knowledge of you jesus we ask hallelujah dear well begin to just clap your hands hallelujah and tell him thank you hallelujah begin to shift your mindset oh hallelujah begin to work in the realms of your own thoughts hallelujah and begin to wage war with the powers of darkness the bible says that in jesus dwells the fullness of god hallelujah for it pleased the father that it would be this way so let us understand that you are Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Father, and as we think of that glorious moment on Calvary, when you hung there being crucified for forgiveness of our sins, God, no matter what it is that we're going through right now, we just say thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, begin to help our unbelief, oh God. Begin to deal with our attitudes, God, and our bitterness, God. Hallelujah. Our failed dreams, hallelujah, and our broken promises, oh God. God. Begin to deal with our perversion, hallelujah, our carnal and our fleshly nature. Come on, dimensions of light. Go ahead and help me to worship. Hallelujah. Oh, we cannot be righteous enough. We cannot be good enough. Hallelujah. We cannot be perfect enough. So the perfect one clothed himself in the likeness of sinful flesh and gave his life so that we could be set free. This is our gospel. Hallelujah. This is why we praise. 
This is why we celebrate. Hallelujah. This is why we worship. So we speak to the spirits of depression. We speak to the spirit of suicide. We speak to the spirit of discouragement. We speak to the spirit of lust and perversion, of pornography and of masturbation. We speak to the spirit of confusion. Hallelujah. Of mental insanity, oh God. We speak to the spirit of regret and bitterness. Hallelujah. And we rebuke you, Satan, even today. And we exalt you, Yeshua, because you are God. Hallelujah. And when God is exalted, hallelujah, the devil is defeated and we have the victory. So we praise your name. One more time. Come on, DOL. Come on, you at home. Help me break up the atmosphere. Oh, help us lead the charge. Oh, yes. Lord, we ask that you bless the man of God that comes forward, Lord. Behind this most sacred nest, touch his mind, God. Give him a fresh word. Hallelujah. Hide him behind your cross, oh God. Hallelujah. Give him the urgency and the fervency necessary, God, to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Unashamed. The gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to all those who believe. We give you honor and we give you praise. In your precious name, we pray, Jesus. We say amen. And amen. Go ahead, Dimensions of Light. Clap your hands. Send up a sound of praise. Come on. You could do better than that. How many of you are believing from a miracle? Then get unashamed. Oh. Get unashamed, come on. Oh yeah. Amen. All right, we, we are gonna go ahead and move on with the uh, reading of our scriptures. We'll be coming out of this morning, uh, the book of Second Chronicles chapter five, uh, verse 11. Uh, through 14 for all of you who are following with your Bibles. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 5 uh, verses 11 to 14 and it reads, Now when the priests came out of the holy place, for all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves without regard to their divisions. That's a little extra uh, commentary there. All the Levitical singers, Asaph, Heman, and Judathan, their sons and kindreds arrayed in fine linen with cymbals and harps and lairs, stood east of the altar with 120 priests who were trumpeters. It was the duty of the trumpeters and the singers to make themselves heard in unison and praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments and praise to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever, the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud. I'm going to read that part again. It says, when the trumpeters and cymbals and other musical instruments gave praise to the Lord, for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever. It says the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud so that the priest could not stand to minister because the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Hallelujah. You can clap your hands just on that. When we lift up, hallelujah, his praise, his testimony, his steadfast love, in unison, hallelujah, his glory descends upon us. So with that in our minds, let us receive with a great hand of praise, dimensions of light, praise, and worship team. Come on, DOL. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's be glad. 
Hallelujah. It's a privilege and an honor to be before the people of God. Amen. I just want to give this invitation to you as we're allowing the glory of the Lord to arise, that you join in and just worship with us wherever you may be. Hallelujah. Wherever your position, hallelujah, if you got to change your posture for a minute, by all means, at any means necessary, change your needed posture. Hallelujah. Come on. We're going to celebrate in here. We're going to glorify him. Come on. Come on, people of God. Come on, just think about his goodness. Think about his mercy. Think about how he allowed you to have the activity of your limbs. Hallelujah. You're able to get up. Nobody had to push you. Nobody had to do anything for you. But it was the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody willing to let it rise on this morning? That's it. Hallelujah. Glory. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. I'm going to sing that again. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, 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 oh. let it rise. I'm going to say that one more time.
all our worship not 50 percent not 75 percent not even 95 percent he deserves a hundred percent of our worship and let it not be our testimony that the rocks will cry out for us so we're gonna give God all that we have okay praise the Lord
Come on now. If you are worshiping this whole time, don't stop. Come on now. If you're able, get on your feet and worship the Lord. Come on. music keep on singing I want you all to make this your heart cry for the next moment or so come on now as you begin to call out to your father come on DOL I am breath in your body if your lungs still work this is a moment where you praise the Lord your name hallelujah we bless your name Jesus Holy Spirit we ask that you continue to be here be amongst your people we ask that you continue to move in the sanctuary we ask that you continue to push past the distraction push past hallelujah the focus on what everyone else around us is doing the song says that no one else can worship God for me but me hallelujah if you're waiting on the minister to move you then you've got it wrong 
if you're waiting on the praise and worship team to worship for you, then you've got it wrong. If you're waiting for the pastor to move you into worship, then you've got it wrong. Here is my worship. The Here is my worship. If you're sitting there and you're waiting, hold on with the music, hold on for a second. If you're sitting there and you're waiting for something to happen, I'm going to tell you right now, the something is you. Let me say it again. If you're sitting there, if you came here this morning fighting for your life, fighting for your marriage, fighting for your finances, fighting for your health and your sanity, for the strength. Happen, I'm going to tell you right now, the something is you. So we're going to do it one more time. Praise and worship team, we're going to do it one more time. Don't miss your moment. Don't be too proud and too strong not to worship your God. Hey. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Come on now, bless him. Hey, and I will. Let's go, Trent. Tanya, I hear you. Hey, as long as sing, Jojo. I am breathing, I will always worship you. Oh, yeah. him come on go ahead and praise him go ahead give it all you got yeah glory 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 the spirit of God is in the house the glory of God is upon his people. Worship. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Yeshua. We bless your name creator of heaven and earth the lion and the lamb the ancient of days Elohim call on his name call on his name oh 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 call on the name of Jesus Call on Yeshua. Call on Yahweh. Call on El Shaddai. Call on El Roy. Come on, call on him. 
Yeah! Hear your people, oh God. We worship. We worship. We worship. Oh! Come on! Yeah! Yes! Worthy is the Lamb! Worthy is the Lamb of God! Who was slain before the foundations of the world! Oh yeah, come on, Pastor Page. It looks good on you, sir. Worship. Your worship is your weapon. Your worship is your weapon. Wage war with the powers of darkness. Wage war dimensions of light. Wage war and worship. Come on, sister leader. Worship. 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 He's been too good. He's been too good. He's been too... Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy of the Lamb. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. There's a worship in the house. There's a praise in the house. There's a praise in the house. Go ahead, mother. Hey. Hey. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. You all can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen, amen. As we move into the next part of our service, we're going to call up our very own uh, beloved media mic offering. Okay, praise God. We're going to move into our next part of worship as the spirit is. Uh, heavy in the place and we want you all to join with us in this part of our worship service and our ties in our offering so go ahead and get a really good seed in your hand your best seed get your best seed in your hand and and the bible says that do not be given to compulsion when giving jesus doesn't want a emotional giver he wants a cheerful giver so whatever you decide to do this morning, just do a couple dollars extra. That's what I love to do. I love to just move the meter a little bit every time I give. So if I was giving 20 last Sunday, I said I'm doing 22 this Sunday and 23, 24, or 25. But go ahead and, and, and test it. Don't, don't, don't get sad about it. If it's going to make you sad, we'd rather you not do it. But go ahead and, you know, and get your, your best seat in your hand and then challenge yourself a little and turn the meter, turn the knob just a little bit more and have fun with it and watch what God does in your life. Hallelujah. For trusting him 
There are three ways to give. First is cash app, dollar sign, new dimension, W-O-T-C-C. New dimension, that's no S. Have to say that because I spell dimensions a lot. And check the spelling. See the logo on the cash app before you send over your gift. Hallelujah. And give Lafay, um, your excuse me, your tithes and your offering. Um, and give Lafay, uh, New Dimension Way of the Cross Church. Again, Dimension, no S, spelled all the way out, Way of the Cross Church. And we do our cash and our checks, our physical monetary tithes and offering, which we'll collect now here in the sanctuary. We do ask, because we are a giving church and we are a loving church, that even if you're giving electronically, that during the tithes and offering that you walk, so if you're you know, doing it via Cash App, and even if you don't have anything to give, we ask that you walk as well and just come by and pray and touch the basket because we love to see everyone participate in this part of the service. So at this point, the service is now in the hand uh, of our ushers. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Amen. We're now going to pray over our offering. If you could all just stretch your hands forward to the altar. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we bless your name. Lord, bless this offering. Hallelujah. Lord, bless, Lord, the minds, God, and our hearts, God, behind this gift. Bless the fertile ground that this offering was planted into. Multiply it as only you can, God. We commit it into your faithful hands. We bless your precious name, Jesus. And the church says, Amen. Hallelujah. And now we're going to receive our media mic for the reading of our announcements. Clap your hands, D.O.L. Praise the Lord, D.O.L. family. Come on and put your hands together. We're excited to be back in the house one more time. Now, listen, y'all, I'm going to say this every Sunday. Grab your phones, go to Facebook, reshare this live, send it to somebody. If you're on YouTube, send the link to somebody. Let them know that we're live on today. Now, where's my youth? We got three weeks. Hold on. One more time. Where's my youth? Listen, we're, we're closing out the summer portion of our calendar. And past the page, let the youth take over for three straight days. Three days. He ain't just give us Sunday. He gave us Friday. He gave us Saturday. And he gave us Sunday. Listen. Youth Weekend, the main flyer is out Friday, August 26th at 7.30. We're going to have a movie night. We're showing Minions. I like Minions, so we starting on time. If y'all show up at 7.35, I'm going to tell Vince to start the movie because that's my movie right there. Saturday, we're going to the beach. That's Sorry, that's incorrect. We're going to Lake Tahiti Beach, upstate New York. We'll be leaving at 9 a.m. And Sunday, August 28th, that is our Youth Sunday. So Youth Sunday is pushed back this month. Um, Herbert Jeter from Maryland, he's an elder with good roots in our organization. He will be speaking. So listen, after today's service, very briefly, we're going to need all parents. There will be a quick meeting with JoJo Kashmira and Minister Vincent to discuss Youth Weekend. And of course, 
I want all parents, all friends, send the flyer, send information to five people. We want this building to be full. We want to see, cho- we want to see souls change. We want to see people renewed. I have high expectations for the weekend. So listen, we're, we're on a countdown. We got three weeks. So every single night, we want to see youth. We want to see and parents. Don't drop you off your kids and leave. You're going to stay with us. You're hanging out with the cool kids for a weekend. All right? All right. Next slide, please. Sunday, August 14th, that is actually this coming Sunday next week, we will have a 9 a.m. service, so there will be no Sunday school. We are starting exactly at 9 because at 4.30, we're going back to Baltimore. Pastor Paige will be speaking at Burning Light Word Across Church in Baltimore. We will be taking a bus and choir. You all will be singing high in all the earth, so please be ready. So all leadership, everybody, please be in the bus right after service. Now, for that 9 a.m. service, don't come here at 9.30. Don't try to sneak in when he's preaching. Be here at 9. We're going to have our Sunday morning worship experience, and we'll be heading on the bus right after that. Saturday, September 17th, myself and the youth ministry will be hosting a college prep workshop. More information to come on that. And October 22nd, listen... We just came from a convention. Let's clap our hands for a convention. We had an amazing week last week. A lot of great word, a lot of great fellowship. Now, pass the page. They got us hosting Jubilee this year. Jubilee is coming to New Jersey on Saturday, October 22nd. So if you're new to that term, Jubilee, Jubilee is pretty much a one-day convention where everybody from our organization didn't come, even north or south. They come somewhere, they gather, and it's basically a one-day convention. We will be hosting on Saturday, October 22nd, the whole entire day. So lead, DOL leadership, it is all hands on deck. If you're over anything in this ministry, if you're helping Please block off your calendar. Please be available. It is a mighty effort. But knowing DOL, we do things in excellence, and we are very much so capable to complete it. Now, in terms of leadership, y'all know tomorrow's the second Monday. We have our leadership meeting at 730. We will be starting on time at 730. And yes, ministerial staff, we will also be having a video etiquette training. I'll be sending another email about that tonight. And of course, how can you connect with us? You can start us here. Sunday is at 9 a.m. for Sunday school, 1030 for Sunday worship. We'll be back in the building this week for prayer and Bible study at 730. And Saturdays, we have Saturday morning lights at 11 a.m. with Minister Harris. He'll be back on Facebook Live this Saturday. And of course, you can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And email admin at DOLWTCC dot com for any questions comments on concerns now we're getting ready for the word of god we're getting ready for the word so for for context you know growing up in the word across you know as a pastor as a leader you go to convention you get supercharged you get your batteries renewed so listen last month y'all know we had six guest speakers six between anniversary and everything else that we did. So listen, we have not heard from Pastor Page in a couple weeks. So I'm excited. He is charged. He is ready. So I want everybody to stand on your feet. It is time for the word of God. Coming to the podium now is our pastor, District Elder Elijah Darnell Page. Coming to give the word of God. God bless you. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Can you guys hear me? Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Let me get a little bit more fire here. There you go. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Truly, we are grateful. We're excited. Amen. About each and every one that's here today. Come to fellowship with us. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord. Amen. We're just excited. We thank God for all those that have traveled down with us uh, to the convocation. Truly, it was a blessing to uh, go and be a part of the Way of the Cross convocation this week. Amen. And to all those who made sacrifices and uh, to go, um, I believe the Lord is going to bless and pour out in your life uh, for those very reasons amen for that um we have having first time visitors visiting amen dol for the first time amen do we have any first time visitors amen 
Well, we thank God for all our visitors. Amen. On today, so grateful. Amen. To see our dear sister. Amen. To stand on a trellis. God bless you. So very much. So grateful to see her. Amen. Uh, so grateful to see everyone in the house of the Lord. Amen. And just so grateful. Um, what I'm going to do right before I get into the word of the Lord, I'm going to ask the elect lady, amen, if she will just come and just share uh, in song. Amen. Come and share in song. Now, I, I do believe now I have a bad habit of repeating the announcements that have been said. Um, and it's very terrible of doing that. Um, but we do know next week now, next week, uh, I just want to say it again. If, if I'm sure you heard it before. <laughs> but next week is an early morning service. Amen. At 9 a.m. we're going to begin. And right after the service, we're jumping on the bus. We're going to have some food and stuff prepared. Amen. For you guys, we want to pack the bus up to go down to Baltimore. Amen. They're waiting on us. Amen. We go down to Baltimore. We have good old church, and we'll get on the bus and come on back to Jersey. Amen. Have you more than enough time to get ready for work and everything else that goes along with that? Amen. So please, everyone, let's go. They've been asking us to come since January, and so we are believing God that every one of us. Even if we have to take the bus and a couple of cars, let's do it and support this ministry there. Uh, Burning Light Wheel the Cross to support them. Amen. They had a transition of pastors. One died and uh, another one came in. And so we want to go and help them. Amen. I believe we can do this real good. Amen. I think, I think we can just probably go all in black and purple or something. Amen. Let's be in uniform or something. Black and purple and white. Amen, so that we can just go and come on, y'all. Let's come on and be with us. All right? Elect lady, into your hands. Lord, we proclaim you now and your mighty power and your awesome majesty. Lord, come upon us now and release your power and let your presence fall.
Come on, take a moment and worship. Flow through me. Flow through me. Come on, just say flow through me. Flow through me. Yes. Let all of your anointing yes. flow through me. Come on, say flow through me. Flow through me. Come on, ask God to flow. Have his way flow through you. Let the all of your anointing. Yes. Let the all of your anointing flow through me. Come on, let the all of your anointing. Let the all of your anointing flow. Come on, feel all of your anointing. Hey, let the all of your anointing flow through me. Thank you, Jesus. Let the all of your anointing. Yeah, let, let it flow through me. Amen. Can we just stand to our feet for one moment? And oftentimes throughout our busy week, we do a lot of rushing, a lot of moving, and trying to get the work on time and trying to catch the store open, trying to send this email, trying to multitask with so many things. And sometimes we get burnt out doing it. And sometimes we rush and rush and rush and rush and, and we miss things. And even sometimes coming to the house of the Lord, we rush, we rush, we rush. And sometimes we, amen, uh, miss out on the move of God. While you are standing there and while the presence of the Lord is in the house, I want you to begin to ask God for some things ask God don't let the enemy speak in your mind and says you're not worthy of asking God don't let the enemy speak to you say well you know you had an argument with a loved one and oh on your way coming to church you try to cut somebody off thank you Jesus but begin to pray and ask God that's what prayer is asking Father, we thank you. Lord, we ask you cover us. Father, we ask for great things in our lives. Lord, we ask jobs, ask cars, ask homes. Father, we ask finance increases. Father, we ask for better health, better decision making, better management skills. Father, we ask you, God, to help us to get along with folks. God, we ask you God to help us to have patience father we ask you oh God for endurance father we ask God that you cover us father we ask God that you lead us father we ask oh come on talk to him talk to him talk to him talk to him come on y'all talk to him talk to him hallelujah talk to him talk to him talk to him Hallelujah. Talk to the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Break up any foul grounds. Break up anything the enemy will begin to speak. Come on. Talk to the Father. Talk to him. He's there. He's listening. He's waiting. Hold a conversation with your God. Hold a conversation with him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I think I need some loaves. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Acts of the Father. Acts him. Acts. Acts. Father, I need you to work on my marriage. Father, I need you to work on my children. Come on, acts him. Acts him. Lord, I need you to send healing to my family, God. I need you, God. Oh, God, to clear the airways, God.
God. Father, I need a miracle by tomorrow, God. Lord, I need by the time I get to work, God, things work out in my favor. Come on. Ask him. Ask him. Take a moment to ask him. It's okay. You can't ask for too much. You can't. You got to keep on asking him. Heaven is never empty. It's always full. When it pours out, God pours back in. Come on, ask him. Come on, ask him. Lord, settle my mind. Lord, settle my heart. Lord, settle me. Lord, settle me. Help me. Lord, cover me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive my brother. Lord, forgive us. Come on, talk to the Father. Yes. Lord, save my children. Deliver my children. Fill them with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I'm praying for my co-workers. I'm praying for my next door neighbor. Lord, I'm praying, God. Come on. Pray for the church. Father, we pray for DOL. We pray for the way of the cross churches. We pray for our bishops. We pray for our pastors. Lord, we pray for the members. We pray for saints and friends. Father, we pray in God. Somebody's in the hospital. Somebody's God contemplating, should I go or come? Somebody's saying, Lord, I don't know if I want to go or come. I don't know what to do. Come on, pray for them. Thank you, Jesus. God, cover those that are traveling. God, cover those God, that have about to have surgery. Lord, cover those God that are taking medication. Pray that it's the right uh, doses of medication. Come on, speak to your father. Speak to him. Come on. Hey, glory. Come on, slow down and talk to him. I know your mind may be rushing, but take a moment just to talk to him. We're not going to rush through this. Worship him. Worship him. Come on, you got to do it. You got to do it. Come on. I'm just coaching you into the next place. But you got to get there. Come on, you got to get there. Worship. You may have came in rushing, trying to be on time. But settle in the spirit. The dove of the Holy Ghost. He settles. He settles. He settles. Come on. Settle my mind, God. Settle my spirit. That which is running rampant in my life. Settle it, God. That come on, shot. Settle it. Settle it. Come on. Come on. The word is about to be preached, but I need the grounds to be clear. Every rocks need to be torn up. I need fertile ground. I need the word to fall on good ground. I need the word to fall on fertile ground. Hey, come on. I just got to clear it up. Take out the impurities. Take out the impurities out of the ground. God, if it's not like you, remove it. Remove it. Remove it. I want good grounds, God. Heal me, God. Set me free, God. Deliver me, God. Fill me again, God. Let the cup run over my life. Let it run over, God. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clear it up. Some of you may be tired, financially stressed, financially empty. Your emotions is empty. Hey, glory. You wanted that you made the right choice. Did you make the right decision? Or are you about to make the right choice? Or are you about to make the right decisions? Come on. Come on, that's it. Come on, reach out to him. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Burn up any impurities. To all our YouTube family, all our Facebook family, Come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Come on, talk to him. Some of y'all about to make some major decisions. Talk to him. 
Some of y'all about to make some major decisions. Talk to the Lord. Talk to him. Guide my steps. Guide my mind. You're about to talk to the banks. You're about to get in that boardroom. God, talk to me, God. Speak through these lips. Speak through them, God. Mold these lips. Shake these lips. Yeah, God. Pull me out of it, God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, there it go. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Yes. Hey, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, glory. Speak to you. Hey, glory. Heaven is waiting to pull out. Yeah. Come on, he's settling it. He's fixing it. You try to cover it up, but God says, I'm fixing it. Yeah. You ain't got to lie about this. No, you ain't got no, you ain't got to make no excuse about it. Yeah. Yes. He's pulling it back to heal you. He's pulling it back to heal you. Come on. Speak to him. You take the covers off to God. Hearing my God. My flaws, my issues, God, my up, my my up rising, my down setting. Here am I, God. I'm exposed before you, God. My mind is exposed before you, God. Yeah, God, I've been wrestling with it. I get tired of wrestling in my mind, God. Jump in the fight, God. Jump in the ring, God. Come on, release it. I'm telling, it's a release. Young people, release. Release it to him. Release it. You're dealing with a bad relationship. Release it to the Lord. You and mom may be arguing, but release it to the Lord. Hey, glory. The devil won't get no victory. The devil ain't get no victory in here. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No victory belongs to him. No victory belongs to the devil. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Come on, we're we releasing it. God is fixing it now. He's working it. He's working it. Hey, glory. His power is working it. Set us free. Set us free. Yeah, God. Uh, set us free. Set us free. Set us free. Come on. I'm saved, but I, I got something holding me back. Yeah. I speak in tongues, but I got something trying to pull me. Get off of me. Come on, tell us to get off of me. Get off. Get off of my feet. Get off of my hands. Get off of my mind. Yes, yes. Come on, that's it. Yes, no doubt that you saved. Yes, you saved. Yes, you are. But the enemy is trying. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. You got to win. You got to win. You got to win. Come on, win in the spirit. Win against him. There's a warfare, but you can win it. Yeah, you got enough weapon. It's the Holy Ghost. You got enough weapon. You got enough arsenal, come on. You got enough, you got enough of it. Yes, you got enough. You got enough, you got enough. You got enough, come on, you got enough. You got enough of it. Come on, pull on it, pull on it. Fight Holy Ghost, fight Holy Ghost. Fight, fight, fight. Fight! 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 Come on, fight! Fight, Holy Ghost! Fight! Yes! Fight! Fight! He's fighting on your behalf! Hey, glory! 
Now we got the victory. And when you got the victory, you praise him like you got the victory. You praise him like you got the victory. You praise him like you got the victory. You got the victory. You praise him like you got it. You praise him like you got it. You praise him like you got it. Hey! We won. We won it. We won. We won. I said we won. W O N. It's a win to me. And tell them because we're on the winning side. I got a prize. Hey!
1 Corinthians 1 See the enemy want to keep you busy So that you have time to focus on what's going on More than what God is fixing for you See sometimes I don't know if you like me If my car ever's in the mechanic Sure enough it's getting fixed but I'm praising God because while the man is fixing it, I'm planning where I'm going. So while God is fixing it, you got to have a plan in mind. And say, when this thing is over, when I get over this thing, I'm going to celebrate over here. I'm going to celebrate over there. I'm going to celebrate over here. I'm making plans. Corinthians chapter 1, verses number 1. 1 Corinthians chapter number 1. Beginning at verse number 1. See, you can't focus on what's going on. We know that, we, and it's not exempting or trying to water down what's, what's happening in your life. But I, I, I can't focus on that. I, I, there's other stuff that if I just focus on this, this is going to go lacking. If I just focus on this, that going to go lacking. I bring my attention to it, but I, 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 I'm winning over here. I'm winning over there. I bring a little attention here, but I'm working. Come on, you got to work with what's working. Glory! God be the glory. First Corinthians 1. It reads like this. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. And Sartenus, a Sosinus, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that is in every place, every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given unto you by Jesus Christ that in everything ye are enriched in all utterance and in all knowledge even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you so that ye come behind in no gift waiting for the coming of the Lord our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no what? The visions among you. Come on, let's say that again. That there be no divisions among you, but that ye perfectly join together in the same mind and in the same judgment. I, I want to take a thought. I didn't have a, a, a title for the message, 
but from, amen, that uh, seventh verse, so that ye come behind in no gift. Look at somebody that says, amen, don't leave it behind. God bless you, may have your seats. Don't leave it behind. Father, we thank you for the word right now, God. Thank you for your people that has come to fellowship and to be amongst us. As body believers, we pray, God, indeed, that the word would come through with power and authority. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Uh, the Corinthian church has been a powerful church that was equipped and gifted with so many gifts. Uh, it was uh, a church that was sought out after. It was more like a pattern, amen, for so many other uh, churches, so many other leaders throughout the city. Uh, would like to pattern themselves after the Corinthian church. But the Corinthian church had a whole lot of issues as well. Uh, like any other church, I believe, I guess, uh, had a whole lot of issues that they were dealing with. And uh, we see what Paul had wrote unto the people of God concerning letters of things that they had sent to Paul about the church, about the people of God. Amen. Our conduct, how we carry ourselves, things that we uh, uh, say, things that we do, uh, has a lasting effect. Thank you, Jesus, on the body of Christ. One of the things that the enemy would like to do is to keep us arguing and fighting with one another so that the vision of God does not come to pass. Amen. He tries to separate the vision, amen, that God has set for the house. And the enemy doesn't care who you are, where you from, and what you do, your financial status doesn't move the enemy. Your, your, your uh, intellectual status doesn't move the enemy. Your influences doesn't move the enemy. It doesn't matter. Amen. Who you are, the enemy will uh, do it. Uh, one of the key things that he is after, and it is the church. The enemy is after the church. Who is the church? The body of Christ baptized believers, those who believe in the things of God, those who believe that Jesus Christ uh, is Lord and Savior, those that believe that Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh. Believers. Uh, there are many people that have come up to me and said, I want to be baptized. I want to be baptized. Uh, when you guys having baptism and, 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 and if it was just that good, just easy, just to say, well, you know, we baptize 35 people today. We baptize 45 people today. Amen. And they have no knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. Amen. We just put numbers up. Come on, somebody. But you need to be a believer. We baptize believers. You can't baptize non-believers. No, 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 no. They, 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 you, how, how, amen, can a person uh, 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 don't believe, but yet they want to, amen, partake in the things of God. Amen. You got to be a believer. I know the Bible says confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus Christ, and thou art saved. But the Bible says how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach unless he's been sent? Amen. So the Bible said, thou shalt be saved. Yes, you had a confession, but somebody got to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Amen. For me just to say, repeat after me, I'm a sinner and I believe Christ died on the third day. Who is Christ? Come on, we got to break this thing down. And Amen. And oh yeah, he hung on the cross. But uh, for what reason did he hung on the cross? Once we got this information together and once we have gotten, amen, this, 
Amen. Now do you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the God in whom we serve? Do you believe, amen, that he shed his blood on Calvary's cross? Do you believe, amen, he is that, that he is, uh, that he's been sent from God uh, as an ultimate sacrifice, amen. Uh, uh, then we can take it down, amen, in water baptism. Uh, let me tell you something. You, you, they they got to believe, saints. They got to believe, amen. Somebody say, oh, I want to be baptized. Ask them, are they a believer? Come on, ask them, amen, Who in whom do you believe? Because you remember in the book of Acts, there was a question that had been asked, 19, it says, uh, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Ah, they says we have not whatsoever heard that there be any Holy Ghost. And he says, unto what baptism was you baptized? And they said, unto John baptism. And he said, no doubt wonderful John was baptizing unto repentance. John was baptizing as a confession, as an open statement, amen, that I believe in Christ. Uh, but he said there was one coming after John, amen. Even John preached about it. John the Baptist preached about it. There's one coming after after me who is preferred before me amen who shall baptize you with what holy ghost and with fire thank you Jesus you got to have the holy ghost yeah look at somebody and say you got to have the holy ghost yes you got to have the holy ghost amen and so the enemy is after the church of God and the church, the church from the book of Matthew 16 amen, the church of uh, verse 13, the church is a vehicle vehicle, amen, to carry the people of God amen, just like your car is used as a tool, as a amen, as transportation to take you from one place, amen to another place, amen, to protect you from elements come on somebody, uh, your, your car is a form of protection amen from the elements out of the world amen even if something uh, uh, was to happen the car amen have some form of protection there you know come on airbags and seat belts and amen anti-lock brakes and amen systems that are set up to, uh, if you're coming close to another car amen there are some cars that are slowing down itself Amen. There's some cars, if you're drifting to the left or the right too far, amen, it, 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 the steering wheel kind of pull you back on in. Come on, somebody. So it's a vehicle to carry you to your destination. That's the same thing with the church. Amen. Uh, it, it, it's a vehicle. Y'all excuse me. I'm sorry about the little smack. The, the church. <laughs> uh, glory be to God it, it carries us the church of Jesus Christ was built by his word it was established by Christ the church was founded and was built upon Jesus the revelatory amen information of, of his identity and he asked the disciples in the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 13 he says amen and he asks him Asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Verse 14, and they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say Elias, and other Jeremiah's, and one of the prophets. Talking about Elijah, or amen, Jeremiah, amen. And he says unto them, But who say ye that I am? He made it personal because, amen, of course, these people are saying who I am, and they're coming up with so many type of Amen. Uh, ideology of me and trying to compare me to great prophets that have came on the scene before me. Amen. But whom do you say that I am? Do you know me enough to explain me to someone? Do you know me enough? Amen. To share who I am. And that's a personal question that you have to ask yourself. Do you know enough of God to share with a co-worker, to share, amen, with a, uh, a, a, a family member? member or to share with somebody on the, on the bus, to share with somebody in the neighborhood. Do you know enough, amen, uh, of him to share, to be persuasive, amen, who God is to you? So he asked the question, but whom do you say, whom do you say, amen, that I am, amen? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou 
the Christ, the anointed, the Christ where Christ, amen, means anointed one, the Christ, the son of the living God, amen. He says, and Jesus said unto him, blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, flesh and blood have not revealed this unto thee. You didn't got this, amen, through somebody whispering and say, hey, uh, uh, Peter, uh, uh, that's, 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 uh, that's the son of God, amen. Uh, that's the Christ, that's the son of God. No, 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 it, it was revealed to him by God himself, amen. He said, but my father, which are in heaven, hath revealed this thing unto you. He said, but I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, this is the thing, one of the key things. He didn't build it on Peter. Amen. I know that there, there, there are many uh, churches and many places that celebrates Peter. Amen. There are many people, you know, many uh, 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 and I'm not, I don't think I'm coming up against somebody, ideology uh, of things, uh, but if it's not the truth, we got to know what the truth is. There are people who celebrate Mary more than they celebrate God. Amen. And there are people who celebrate other, you know, great leaders and stuff that they have done other than, amen, God himself. Amen. So he didn't build it on Peter. Peter didn't found the church, but the revelatory knowledge, amen, that he had of Christ. Amen. He said, upon this, upon that information, upon what you know and what, upon, upon what have been revealed, I will build my church now but I want to let you know something uh, the gates of hell is going to come against the church uh, in other words the enemy is going to try everything that he can to stop the church to dilute the church amen to interrupt people's thought mind about the church uh, amen get into people's heart even to get into people's heart about the church he said but Amen. It won't prevail. It's going to come against it. It's going to try to stop it. And the word that's in the, the, the there's a there's like a, a a root word in the midst of against, and it is gain. He's going to try to gain access to the church. He's going to try to gain, come on, somebody, uh, access to break things up. In the church of God. Uh, he said, but it's not going to prevail. Look at somebody said, it ain't going to work. Oh, it's going to come up, but it ain't going to work. You may even feel some things come up, but it ain't going to work. Got to make some adjustment, but it ain't going to work. Think about your car. Amen. Think about the car that you drive. Amen. Because you hit a few bumps in the road and nobody are sitting in that driver's seat but you, but you got to adjust the mirror every once in a while. Nobody sitting in that driver's seat but you, and you got to adjust the seat every once in a while because as you're traveling, you're hitting bumps that make some movement. Come on, somebody. Amen. That causes you to make some adjustments. And as long as we are in the body of Christ, the word don't change, but sometimes there are some adjustments in us that needs to change some adjustments needs to change hallelujah glory be to God and so uh, it won't prevail so uh, when we receive uh, this revelatory knowledge amen of Christ and are baptized in his name you are a part of the church of God amen which is the body amen of Christ and what you are become equipped because once you become a part of the body of Christ now there have to be some teaching some instruction some development taking place come on somebody uh, uh, one of the things the Lord dealt with me this morning I mean as soon as I open my eyes uh, amen the Lord talked about development uh, amen to let the folks know don't be moving around when you are developing don't be moving around when you, amen, are growing because uh, if you go from this place to that 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 place, that place, that place, amen, you may pick up on some things uh, that may terminate the soil or terminate the seed uh, and whatever is in the seed is coming through, come on, uh, coming through the, the, the tree and the branches uh, and whatever fruit is on there and folks take it and eat it. 
Ah, uh, you contaminate others. And so uh, he said, let my people know. Amen. Sit still. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Why you aren't developing? Now, there are those. There are those that are seasoned that can take a few things. Uh, they take it and, uh, and they keep on going. Come on, somebody. Uh, somebody uh, when we was in um, Israel, when I was in Israel back in May, thank you, Jesus. We saw one of the oldest tree, one of the oldest olive tree. That olive tree happened to be I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 1700 years old. Maybe a little older than that. I believe it is a little older than that. Uh, but don't quote me, but I know it was one of the oldest olive trees. Now notice this. It still produces olives. Amen. All the way back from 1700, maybe 2000 years old. Amen. Long ago. And it still produces because you that thing that you got to take some time to keep on growing some things you got to take in order to move forward some things you have to take in order amen to excel in God and so uh, just looking at that tree I believe I have a picture amen on one of the cameras that uh, media Mike allowed me to uh, uh, use of his uh, I believe I got the sim card someplace brother Mike uh, I have a picture of the camera I mean the, the picture of the tree amen and just looking at how that tree lasted all of those years they, they, they got um, different things around it to a pinpoint that this tree have been here amen for so long amen but when we become a part of the body of Christ amen development development have to take place you got to grow amen and if there is no growth there is a problem uh, come on somebody come on parents when you see that your children is a certain age and, and, and it is some development skills have not taken place uh, you go and start checking on things you want to see what's going on uh, why my child is not developing this way why my child is you know certain things uh, uh, that is taking place it, it brings attention amen to it well the same thing with the body of Christ uh, when you are not developing or not growing we have to find out what's wrong, what's taking place, what's happening, why you're not using the gift of God in your life, why, amen, of things are, are, are not coming together, why, amen, you don't seem to can't move ahead, why, something, come on, uh, we got to check something to see what's the problem, thank you, Jesus, and if you don't check what's the problem, then growth would never take place. Place. Uh, listen, I own a business. Uh, hey, come on, somebody. And if folks stop coming to my business, uh, I got to see what's the problem. Uh, maybe I need to work on my uh, skills of cutting better. Maybe I need to work on my customer service skills. Uh, maybe I, come on, somebody, because... Uh, when, when, when things are not working properly folks mm, uh, uh, I'm not coming around uh, come on folks don't want to come around chaos so uh, so as people of God when development is taking place God equips us uh, as we grow in him uh, no doubt the Holy Ghost is there but as we grow in God. He equip us with more. He gives us more. He, amen, uh, add more to our plate. He adds more to our life. Uh, he puts us in places because uh, we have graduated from one area to another area. Uh, and when you graduate from one area, you don't just sit down. Uh, my heart goes out to folks that graduate school and not doing anything. Come on, come on, uh, 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 folks that 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 uh, uh, God gave a gift to and they're not using it. Uh, uh, folks that say, oh, man, I, I don't even want to be bought. The devil is a liar. Don't allow the enemy, come on, to speak to your mind, to speak to your heart, to even to speak to your ability. So, uh, glory be to God.
God. You got to use what God, amen, giving you. So when God equips us, it's for, amen, a reason. And once you become equipped through the teaching and the preaching of the gospel, amen, we are responsible, amen, for teaching and sharing with somebody else. We are responsible for sharing the gospel, amen, to, uh, to pray, amen, for somebody, to speak words of encouragement, to, amen, uh, to speak healing over them, uh, amen, to comfort them, to help them to come out whatever situation they may be in. Yes, you are responsible, amen, for that. Uh, come on, tell somebody, say, I'm responsible. Uh, I got a responsibility. Uh, so each Christian, each, oh, each Christian has a job, amen, to do, a role, amen, to take or, amen, a contribution, amen, to make. Huh? Yes, each one of you got a role to take on. Huh? Each one of you got a job to do or, amen, a contribution, amen, to make. Huh? Uh, I, was dealing, I was dealing with a brother one day, and uh, uh, he was asking, he was sharing with me about, amen, some things that he had going on. Huh? And, uh, and, 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 and he said to me, he said, uh, uh, this is what we are doing. And I said, man, I don't know how to do none of that what you're talking about I said but I tell you what I can contribute amen to that very thing I can give amen to it for those amen who would like to be a part of it and who would want to amen be a part of it but they don't have the means to do it so I made a contribution unto them to help amen the next person so you may not you may not can sing like the praise and worship team, but you can co contribute by clapping your hands. Come on, somebody. You may not be able to jump on this organ like our brother Mike and these keys like brother Corey and amen and the other brothers and amen. Uh, you may not be able to do those things, but you can contribute amen by saying, come on, y'all. Y'all doing y'all thing. You can make a contribution, amen, unto that. So uh, we all have an assignment in our life. We have an assignment. And, uh, and one, amen, one assignment may seem more, thank you, sir, I appreciate it. One assignment may seem more spectacular, amen, than the other assignment. Uh, we got an assignment. Yes, you've been assigned, amen, to do something. Uh, and sometimes people believe because uh, amen uh, I may not be in the forefront I may not be amen uh, in the eye places uh, that I'm not assigned but you are assigned God gave you an assignment uh, yes he gave you an assignment and I, I just want to say this much too amen if you ask somebody or many people amen what their purpose is in life or what their assignment is or what God have uh, uh, called them to do and they're going to say to help somebody amen and, 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 and no doubt you're right the gift that God gives you is to help somebody but in what areas of help come on what, what, what area of help yeah it, that's a general uh, term to use I'm, I, I'm here to help somebody my purpose is to help somebody but in Luke chapter number 4, you see that when Jesus uh, uh, said to the people in the synagogue, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has what anointed me to preach the gospel to who? The poor. So there's a one assignment to be to preach to the poor. Amen. To proclaim the gospel to the poor. That's one assignment. And, 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 and then he goes on and says, he has sent me to do what? Heal the brokenhearted. That's another assignment. So there are different assignments in the body of Christ. Amen. And we're going to talk about spiritual gifts in a moment. But there are different assignments in the body of Christ. One may be for the brokenhearted. Everybody don't know how to deal with the brokenhearted. Everybody don't know how amen to proclaim the gospel. I'm listening here because you got a mic. Don't mean it how to play the proclaim the gospel. Everybody don't know how to sing. Everybody don't know how to be an administrator. Everybody don't know how to clean. They don't know how to clean. Yeah, they should, but everybody don't know how to clean. You know, so uh, 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 there are different aspects of the body of Christ, amen, that has an assignment. Now, if you don't know your assignment, it just says, I'm here to help somebody. You've got to pray and ask God what areas of help that I'm in. What areas, God? Where do I belong? 
in the body of Christ? Where do I belong in the house of the Lord? Where do I belong? And we pray and we fast and we seek God, amen, for those very, amen, things. So he says to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and the recovering of the sight of the blind, and to set at liberty them uh, that are bruised. Thank you, Jesus. And so uh, our assignment may not be spectacular as everyone. We see, amen, the TV, and I use this illustration a lot. We see what is shining on the TV, the DOL sign. We see that look nice and beautiful. You look in the back, you see the, 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 the TV that got the monitor. Hey, I'm waving in the monitor already. Y'all see the monitor? Hey, y'all see me waving? Okay. So we, we see what's displayed, but we don't see what's behind that's holding it up. You know, we don't see that. We don't see the screws and the bolts, and we don't see those things that's holding it up. Had it not been for that, guess what? The TV wouldn't be there. You don't see the boat that's holding that chair together that you're sitting on. Then sit on the dot boats and see what happened. You're going to scrape your behind. Hallelujah. Okay. Your bottom. Let me use bottom then. Okay. You scrape your bottom. But we don't see these things. So, but it don't mean that you are not needed in the body of Christ. Does not mean that you're not supposed to work in the body of Christ. But all assignments are necessary to carry out the plan of God's church. To carry out his plan. And so in his Somebody they have the gift of healing. Someone comes in sick or comes in not feeling well and they just begin to speak healing over the house. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, healing is taking place. God is not manifesting himself amen, through the gift of that particular person. So he said, not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the matter of some. Some people say, I just ain't coming. I'm just not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna do. And, you know, it bothers. I know the cliche out there. My oil. You know, I ain't burning up my oil. I ain't giving up my oil. It ain't your oil. I ain't wasting my oil. Mm, not on that song. I ain't wasting my. Mm -mm, I ain't wasting my oil on that. I ain't wasting my prayer on that. I ain't wasting my 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 my. That word really. I'm telling you, it really bothers me. When I hear the word my this and my that, when it, you know, depending on what it is. I'm serious, depending on what it is, especially when it comes to things of God. My, my organ, my drum, you know, that, my, you know. Uh, uh, and, 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 and so he, he have us to come together, you know, by exhorting one another and so much the more. Because the day is approaching. The coming of the Lord is here. So we got to continue to exhort one another. To encourage one another. To build one another up. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. So when we enter the church service to worship. And to praise and to listen to God's word. However once service is over. Once we leave this place. And the benediction is given. And the blessings uh, pronounced over the house of God. Amen. And we leave. We leave to go serve the world. Open that for me. We leave to go serve the world. Amen. That is filled with God's people. We go, in other words, one of the, one of, uh, 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 a theologian has said one time, thank you, sir. A theologian has said one time, we are empowered to leave to go into God's harvest. The physical building, where we at, this physical building.
children is the, uh, the command center. Everything comes from the command center. All right, we need you to go over there. We need you to go there. We need to, uh, uh, we're going to assign you to this particular, amen, uh, uh, hospital. We're going to assign you to this particular nursing home. We're we'll assigned to this particular prison ministry. I remember when I used to do prison ministry uh, before we used to go out uh, every Thursday night uh, to minister unto the brothers that are in prison. And I remember uh, the very first time that I went, I mean the very first time that I went, uh, the brother said to me who was over the program, amen, says, listen, I'm going to let you know. There's going to be a lot of opposing forces in there. He said, but don't stop preaching the gospel. You're going to hear other folks yell out other different religion type of things, and they're going to yell it so loud to sound like it's going to overpower what you're saying. But don't stop preaching the gospel. See, you have to understand, wherever there's an assignment, the devil, amen, start uh, 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 sending out, delegating his, his, his demons, his workers, he start delegating them over there, delegating them over there, delegating them over there, delegating to this city, to that state, to that country, that, to that avenue, to that street, to that boulevard. Come on, to that block. He start delegating. But then you that got the Holy Ghost got to continue to preach and teach through that. I pray I'm making sense. So this is the command center and the command center. Amen. It's any place that is used to provide the centralized command for some purpose. And so God equips us with a gift. Let's go to 1 Peter 4 and 8. God equips us with a gift. We are equipped it with gifts. Come on, tell yourself, say, I have a gift. I got a gift. I got a gift. And you may have gifts. You may have gifts. God may use you to multitask your gifts. Thank you, Jesus. But that don't mean because one person, you know, I, I know a brother, I'm telling y'all, I know a brother can, he a church all by himself. He'll have his, his click track uh, with the drums. He got his mic singing, the keyboard going. And every once in a while he hit the button. When he don't see nobody clapping, he hit the button for clapping. <laughs> say, brother, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> but he's a church all by himself. <laughs> Some people are just gifted in those areas that just can do it. Now, hear me with my one or two little things. You know, can't be jealous of what all he has. Come on. You perfect what God gives you. Because the truth of the matter is, if God gives you something else right now, can you handle it? Wow. Or, or will it stress you out? Will it cause you to, to, to you know, to want to give up? Oh, my goodness. You know, that's why I don't try to fill nobody else's shoes. I, I don't mean no harm, y'all. I love y'all. Amen. I will walk with you. Well, I love y'all, <laughs> but I don't want to fill y'all shoes. I, I, I'll walk with you, though, but I don't want to fill, fill your shoes because you don't know what people have to go through. You don't know what, what how, for, just to remain sane. I mean, just to remain a, a level of peace. You don't know what. Some folks have to go through just to get some sleep. You don't know what folks have to go through. Come on, somebody. You don't know what folks have to do just to get a smile out of them. So I, I keep my own shoes. I ain't asking for nobody else. Marriage, I ain't asking, I'm definitely asking for nobody else. Children, I ain't asking for, I got three of my own. God bless for those who can, ooh, I, my hat goes off to people who can take care of people, children who, who got daycares and, and, and other facilities. Oh, just bring them over to my house. You know, those type of folks. Oh, child, just bring them over, girl. We got them. God bless you. I'm, t I'm taking off hats, my hair, everything to you. I'm giving you my God. I remember one time, 
You know, I used to call folks and, and just have a little quick word to talk to them. And all the kids in the background used to be all that yelling. Ah, blah, 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 blah. And I used to wonder why. I said, my goodness, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't have them kids in the background. I mean, they're just talking to me no more. I'm try- I said, I can't do it. All right, y'all have a good day now. I, I'm, that conversation cut quick. But then I understand, you know, when you got kids, especially when you feel like really talking to nobody, you're like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, y'all hit the cue. Everybody just start talking. Tell all the kids, just go and start talking. Go ahead. Real quick, because if it works for me, I'm sure they're going to work for them. Just make all the noise you want to make real quick. Oh, all right, Pastor Pay, we'll talk to you later. Oh, thank y'all. Y'all so good. Y'all want some ice cream now? Yeah. They're a little older now, so we got to find another little cute. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we've been equipped. <laughs> we've been equipped with the gift. Everyone has a gift. Everyone has a gift. The Bible says, and above all things, have fervent charity and want to love amongst yourself. For charity shall cover the multitude of sin. It don't expose. Love don't expose. It covers. We talk a whole lot about uh, forgiveness, and but what about reconciliation? I know folks say, well, uh, forgiveness doesn't always mean reconcile. You know, there's some folks, amen, God ain't putting no other people in your life but the person you, you, you need forgiving from. Child, I can do better with somebody else. You, you know you can't. Ain't nobody else putting up with you. Ain't nobody else putting up with you. You might as well just, just hang in there. And, <laughs> all right. You want to eat? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where you going? To the store. You want me to go with you? No, but I'm coming anyway. Let's go. Ain't nobody else putting up with you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> nobody making no more other adjustments. Just... <laughs> So, uh, but, but it covers our multitude of sin. But look, look at this. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. And as every man have received the what? Gift. Even so, minister the same to one another. When you receive the gift of God, everyone was born with a gift. Thank you, Jesus. Uniquely designed, covered by God. He said, even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards. Now, notice this. The word stewards means being a manager over someone else's stuff. Come on. Being a manager over someone else's. If Brother Corey gave me his car to use, I got to be a good steward over his car. I just can't take it and abuse it and beat it up and do whatever I want to do with it. I got to be a steward over his car. If he gave it to me with gas, then I got to give it back to him with gas. Oh, he got it. He all right. He, you know, how it looks at, boy, Brother Corey loaded. I need to, um, he'd be all right. No, that's not how you do that. And even if he, he is loaded, but even if he is loaded, <laughs> you know, no, you know, that, that don't mean me. Yeah. Don't take advantage of being, being loaded. So being stewards over the man of the grace of God. Let me have her get out of here. So let's go to Romans chapter number 12. Verse number 3. And we're getting out of here. I promise you we're getting out of here. Uh, uh, so the gift is to be used, not to be laying dormant. And I'm going to show you something about the gift that God gives. He said, for I say through the grace given unto me, to every man, that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, consciously, to think reasonably, not to be, you ever seen a drunk person that uh, and when they talk, you know, people say, you know, uh, truth comes to a lot of drunk people. It, 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 it's pretty much true. But there's some folks that I told that have been drunk, and the very next day once they done sober up and got, and got their stuff together, they don't remember nothing they said, the, 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 you know, from the day before. I'm, I've seen it so many times, you know. So that's why I always now, you know, uh, yeah, you say don't judge the book by its cover. Now I always, because I understand, so let them get through this. Let them just wear off. He, he cussing me out right now, but by morning we'll be, amen. 
back together again, talking and laughing, and we'll be, you know, you know, things of that nature. There, 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 there have been people that I know that are very dear to me. When they get a little something in them, oh my gracious goodness, I, it, 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 they become another person. Seriously. And so now you start working with that. Say, oh man, listen, every time you get this in you, this is what happened. And I really want to choke you. <laughs> but then I realize there's something in you, and it won't be right for me to choke you while it's in you. So I just wait till you <laughs> get through it. You know, that wouldn't be right. They wouldn't, they'd be like, hey, why you took advantage of this man? He was, you know, you know how he was. But to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man, a measure of faith. Come on. A measure, each one of us got a measure of faith. Come on, next verse. For as we have many members in one body, your body got many members in it. Uh, a gallbladder, a kidney, toes, members of the body all work together. A heart, lungs, whatever it is. Extra toe, it, we all got members in the body. Right? Many, many in one body. And all members have not the same office. They don't. Your toes won't, your fingers won't work comfortably on your feet. It won't. It, it, we, we're not designed like that. You know, your, your feet won't work good on your hands. Your eyes won't work good back here. Even though you want to see what's behind you, but it, 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 it won't work. Come on, imagine if the Lord put your eyes back here. And your front this way. <laughs> Just imagine that. The Lord said, you know what? This one I'm going to put the eyes back because I, I know they're going to be always like look back. <laughs> so just, so imagine it won't properly function. So each member has not the same office. So we being many on one body in Christ and every one member one of another. Come on. Uh-huh. Having then what? Gifts. Differing according to the grace that is given to us. Each one of us has a gift. Given unto us, rather prophecy. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministering. Let us wait on our ministering. Or, ha or, or, or he that teacheth on teaching. Come on. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with what? Simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let's go to the book of Romans eleven twenty nine. 29. One thing about the gift of God, God does not repent for the gift that he gives. He doesn't repent. They're not, they're irrevoc irrevocable. Did I say that right? Yeah, irrevocable. Yeah. For gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. He don't repent for what he gave the drunk man. He don't repent for what he gave to, and don't get upset at me when I'm about to say, to the prostitute. He don't, give, don't repent what he gave to the drug user. He doesn't repent for that. Because the gift in the word, uh, uh, what's the word again? Irrevocable. Yes. And I've been pronouncing this all night long, y'all. It means not able to change are not able to go in reverse. God said, I'm not taking it. You have it. I'm not taking it back. You have it. It's the gift. Now, the gifts are supposed to be used for the kingdom of God against the work of the enemy, but I, I'm not repenting for what I did because I'm a gift giver, and I'm going to continue to give gift prayerfully. You would understand that your gift is supposed to be used for the kingdom of God. Yeah. God said, I'm not repenting. Yeah, it's yours. Here, take it. But it's supposed to be used for my kingdom. It's supposed to be used for the work of God. Not against the kingdom of God. Thank you, Jesus. And so the spiritual gift in the book of um, Amos 
Uh, let's go to the book of Amos 3 and 3. So once God don't repent for that, and in the body of Christ, uh, we're not supposed to be uh, uh, fighting against one another's gift. The gift is supposed to be used in each individual places for the kingdom of God. Each individual, if, you, if we're going to work and function right as a body of believers, as a ministry, if we're going to function right, then we got to use the gift, amen, correctly in the house of God, not against one another. Uh, come here, uh, Jalen. I thought he was sleeping. That's why I woke him up. So bring one of those burgundy sheets on real quick. Come here, Minister Chris. Can someone bring one of them? Yeah. Barack, bring me the burgundy sheet, Barack. Oh, oh come on, you let's die. Thank you. Now, I want to show you something. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? Now, to the hospitality and the ushers ministry, I, I, I'll get another sheet, okay? I'll get another sheet for y'all. Because uh, what I'm about to do is going to um, require this to be messy. Okay. So, bring me the, the powder water. Can you bring? Come in, uh, Jaka. Since they like to fight. I got some arguing children, y'all. I'm telling you. They arguing over the iron. Plug it up. I ain't plugging up. You plug it up. <laughs> Somebody just plug up the iron. Come on. Put your hand. Yeah. No, hold on. I want you to hold in your hand. Hold in your hand. You get on this side. Okay. Mr. Chris, you get the get the get the the, uh, the part one. So when we when if they're walking together, come on, walk together. Hold one side of the, the, the there you go. Walk. There's nothing that is spilling out, right? See how how good they're working? They're doing it together. Everything is functioning right. Whatever's supposed to be in that pot stays in there. Come on back here. So. When, this is what happens in the marriages. When you don't walk together, uh, things go haywire. But when you walk together, even though it's a little heavy a little bit, it got a little weight to it. Now, you, he shook his head, no, you was like, it is a little, it's okay. You ain't got to, don't worry, you still the older brother. So, uh, so, <laughs> so what happens is, even though it's a little heavy, it is a little heavy, y'all. Because it, it, they got water in it. So, even when you're married, you walk together, you carry the weight together. Not one person being weighted down and burnt down and beat up and, 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 and don't, look, don't know where they're going. I mean, they look like they don't know where they're going because of the weight that's on one person. That's not how marriage is supposed to work. Amen. So, pour the water in. Fill it up. So, what happens is, come, just come over this way just a little bit. Now, I want you to pull. You might get a little wet, but that's okay. I want you to pull that way, pull this way. Now, keep, keep pulling. Pull it, pull it, pull it. And see what happens? See what happens? Because they're not walking together. Thank you, sir. They're not working together. And what happens? Everything is a chaos. It's all over the place. They all wet. His glasses falling off. Is <laughs> he was concerned about his hair? That's why he's, he's like this. I don't know. I just got my hair. Don't put it on my head. But look at look at the place. Look at the mess. So that's what happens when we try to use our gift against one another. It becomes a mess. And so that's why Paul says that there be no what divisions among us. Thank you. I can have your seats. You, 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 you get what I'm saying? So, so he said, how can two walk together except they agree? How can you use your gift together? That, that's good. Thank you. It's, unless there is an agreement. So let's go to my final scripture, Psalms 133. Notice when we work together, what happens? The Bible says, behold how good and how pleasant it is. Uh, it is for brethren to dwell together. The word dwell means live, to be amongst one another, to, to be in harmony with one another. Come on, let's go. 
uh, it is like the precious ointment. The ointment, that ointment had, had cost a lot. It had a very high price to it. Uh, upon, the, the, upon the head that ran down, upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garment. Come on. Uh, and as the dew. So, the, the, so what happens is the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descends upon the mountains of Zion, for there God commanded the blessings. Where there is unity. So the dew, it was just enough to water the crops and because of the elevation. Not a whole lot of stuff, a lot of, not a lot of participation. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, rain. What, what's the word? It's not with a P for forecasting and stuff. Thank y'all. Y'all are so nice. Uh, none of that take place above the clouds because of the, how the elevation of the mountains. So God would allow dew to come to, uh, to water the crops and everything, anything else. So when we work together in harmony and our gifts are coming together, God says, I command blessings. I command, when your gift work together with one another, I command blessings to come. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all, I do have one more, and that's it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter number 12. 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, and we're going home. 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, I think it's verse number 4. Is, 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 is that what I had? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, verse number 4. Now, he that speaks in, no, is that 1 Corinthians 12? First Corinthians 12. Thank you, Jesus. I think that's 14 there. Okay, there you go. 4. Look what it says. Now there are diversities of gifts. Diversities of gifts. But the same spirit. So God says, I disperse gifts. But they only come from one source. That is me. God gives grace to everyone. Backsliders. Liars. Whoever it is. It's all the same gift. A uh, Grace. It's all the same grace, you know. Uh, uh, and there are difference, differences of administrations, but the same Lord. When they talk about different administration, back before um, God would dwell in men, he would come upon men. You see, when you read the book of uh, uh, the Judges and the Prophets, uh, how the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. And when the Spirit of the Lord would come upon Samson, uh, Samson would do these great and wonderful and mighty things. It baffled the people because Samson wasn't a, uh, uh, you know, big guy like the brother on the base. He wasn't, you know, caught diesel like that. Samson's more like, uh, <laughs> come here, Jayla. You know, you, you, you wonderful, son. Come here, um, Mr. Bass Man. That water going to run into that base real quick. Somebody stop there real quick. So, just, just, just real quick, brother. Samson, and this is the administration of God. So, looking at, looking at you, you would think this would be Samson because his built, his height, right? So, when the Spirit of the Lord would come upon Samson, he began to rip this and rip that. They was like, what the world? What is, what is happening? Thank you, sir. So, when he speak about the administration, you know, uh, the administration would be now God dwells on the inside. He don't just come upon us. Remember what the Bible said on the day of Pentecost um, when it was fully come that the Spirit of the Lord that, that came through like a rushing mighty wind. It sat on, on them and then it what filled them. So it was upon them, but then the Bible says, I got to get in them. So it got in them. And they were able to do the work of the Lord. And that's what empowers them. So that's what we're talking about, the same, uh, different administration, but the same Lord. And he says, and there are diversities of operation, but it's the same God, which works in all, all in all. Come on. And, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit to another faith, by the same Spirit to another the gift of healing, by the same Spirit, uh-huh, to another the working of miracles. 
to another prophecy, to, an, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongue, to another the interpretation of tongues. Uh-huh. And but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. God says, I give it to them as I please. And there's another scripture in, in that same chapter that says, I give, amen, to give as I please, as it fits the body of Christ. So when God says, this is what's needed in DOL, I give the gift as it is needed in the house of God. The gift of administration needed in the house of God. The, the gift of discerning of spirits needed. Now, when you have these gifts, you don't take these gifts, amen, and try to use it for your own gain or use it as belittling to someone else. Know how to use your gift. Come on, look at somebody and say, know how to use your gift. Let us stand to our feet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. I'm not finished, but I'm finished. Thank you, Jesus. Using our gift. Nothing left behind. Paul said we're not leaving anything behind. We're not leaving what God has equipped us with behind. We need it. You need the gift of God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for the word of the Lord. That I've been prayed and taught in this house. I pray God that the gift that you have equipped the church with would be used amongst the people of God for this house. You've gifted this house. God, you said that there'd be nothing left behind. Nothing. No gift. No spiritual gifts be left behind. And that no one be embarrassed of their gift. Whether it's a gift or a gifts or, or gifts that we would use it for your glory. And Father, we pray, God, that if there's any impurities, that it be removed out of us now. Help us, God, as we are advancing the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that you cover your people. Sheila and protect them. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray that every gift that's in the house would be unpacked for the work that you have assigned to this ministry, for the vision that you have given to this ministry, that every gift would be in operation. God, no one is jealous of no one else's gift. Prophets, God, release them. Discerning of spirits, release them. Operations, God. Administrations. Oh, God. The gift of tongues, God. Those who's able to interpret. Father, we pray. The gift of healing. Oh, God. And even the vessels that have the gift. Continue to work on them. Work on their mind. Let them know, God, it's you and you alone. Just use them, God. Skillful musicians. Father, we pray over their lives. Oh, God, we pray for the gift that you have given unto the church, God. Access to, for that we be endeavoring to keep the peace, the unity amongst us. And we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. God bless you. We thank God for each and every one that have come on today. If you desire a church home, it says, listen, I want to be a part of the DOL family. I need a church home. I need a pastor. I need some praying folks. Thank you, Jesus. I need, amen, um, someone I can call on. A place that I can call my church home. We open up the doors for you to join, to be a part of this great ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe on YouTube, on Facebook Live. Amen. That's you. Yes. That's you. 
Amen. Come on. Type in the comments. Someone would get with you. We thank God for this ministry. The Lord has equipped this house. He has equipped this house. Hallelujah. With every gift that's needed. We ain't got to go outside. It's in the house. Tell somebody it's in the house. It's in the house. All we need is in the house. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Is there anything that I'm missing? Amen. 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 First time visitors, raise your hands. Amen. We'll bring, got a gift for you. First time visiting, we'll bring you a gift. To God be the glory. Amen. Listen, if you want to be a part of our foreign mission ministry, please see Minister Chris. We need help in that area. He's carrying it. He was doing it. But we need help in every area. We'll be forming a convocation ministry, uh, committee. Amen. To help in every aspect of the convocation. Amen. We'll talk about that a little bit more next Sunday a little bit. But if you want to be a part of the foreign mission, please see Minister Chris. If you want to work in whatever area that he would need you to work in, whether it's administrative, whatever it's paperwork, whatever it is, amen, uh, see him so that we can continue to do what the Lord has called us to do in Bangladesh. Amen? May have a smile upon you. Let's be dismissed. And to the brothers, amen, we was assigned to go to uh, Spain. Um, what's the restaurant? <laughs> Not Spain in the country, but the restaurant. The House of Spain, Chateau. Chateau of Spain, that's it, Chateau of Spain, Chateau of Spain. Uh, but that has been uh, on hold for today. Let's continue to pray, amen? That has been on hold to all the brothers. We have already uh, discussed it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for the uh, people that are here. Father, we're praying, God, as Brother Preston travels back to uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Father, we pray, God, that you would give him a safe travel there. Father, he came and he served and he worked and did what you have called him to do. So, Father, we pray for safe travel for him and his family. Father, we pray, God, for even those that those that are here today. God, maybe going to their uh, different destinations, cover them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be amongst your people, and we thank you, God. We pronounce blessings, God, over your people. Blessings, yeah, God, unexpected blessings that come this week in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. And we are praying for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day.